Mick St. John, thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you. So what's it like to be a vampire? Well, being a vampire sucks. It's a bad joke, I know, but it's the truth. What's it like being immortal? Well, if we feed, we don't age, but you can't kill us. How do you kill a vampire? Wooden stake, I'm guessing. No, a wooden stake won't kill a vampire. A flamethrower, that'll kill a vampire. Or we can lose our heads, literally. Other than that, we heal. Can I see your fangs? After the interview. <laughs> so, do you drink blood? Why are you offering? Um... I'm just kidding. Yeah, I have a guy. You mean like a dealer? Yeah, like a dealer. He works in a blood bank. So you never bite anybody? No. Well, unless they really deserve it. So, what does it actually feel like when you turn into a monster? <sighs> oh. Nothing. Do you sleep in a coffin? No, that's an old wives' tale. I sleep in a freezer. And while we're on the subject, garlic is tasty on pizza. Does it repel you? In my dates, sometimes. Toss holy water on me, I get wet. Crucifix is okay if you like that kind of thing. Oh, and I definitely cannot turn into a bat. That'd be cool, though, wouldn't it? What about daylight? Daylight's not good. Daylight's not good. The more I'm in the sun, the worse I feel. But you don't burst into flames. No, not if I can help it. And what's it like being nocturnal? It's cool. The surf breaks are empty and there's never any crowds on the golf course. I can get an 18 in like two hours. Can you fly? Can I fly? No. But I can move real fast. Plus, I have a ridiculous vertical leap. And I'm strong. How strong? Remember that gorilla that tore the guy's head off last year? I'm not quite that strong. But you can be killed. Of course I can be killed. What made you want to become a vampire? I didn't want to become a vampire. I got turned by my wife on our wedding night. But that's a long story. So you still married? No, we had a falling out. When? 58 years, two weeks, and four days ago, but who's counting? What makes you actually turn into a vampire with fangs and all? The four Fs. Fight, flight, feed, and... You know. So vampires can have sex? I'm undead. I'm not dead. You seem like a very nice fellow, but don't vampires kill people? <laughs> Most vampires don't have boundaries or rules, but I do. I don't hunt women, I don't hunt children, and I don't hunt innocents. But there's predators out there who need to be dealt with. Is that why you became a private investigator? It was a way to use my special abilities. I feel like if I can help others, it kind of makes up for what I am. So what was it like when you first became a vampire? It's heady stuff. When you first become a vampire, you're at the top of the food chain. There's no rules for you anymore. It's like a Mardi Gras that lasted forever. Being 90 years old can give you a pretty nice perspective. Definitively, Babe Ruth is better than Barry Bonds. What makes life worth living? Steve McQueen movies. Miles Davis, Ted Williams, Swain, Louis Armstrong, Single Malt Scotch, 24-Hour Jazz Club, TiVo, 80 Sunblock, Star Trek, The Trouble with Tribbles, Kids Laughter, Love. Yeah. Love makes life worth living. Do you have anyone special in your life? No comment. Any advice for all the vampire wannabes out there? Yeah. Stay out of my way. Last question. Boxers or briefs? Tune in. <laughs>